The idea of artificial intelligence didn't start in Silicon Valley. It started in myth. Before Silicon Valley, there was mythology. Before ChatGPT, there was Talos, a bronze guardian forged by the gods programmed to protect Crete. Alchemists whispered of the golem, a, a lifeless figure clay creature awakened by sacred text, brought to motion by sacred words, created by mystics controlled by man, meant to serve or destroy. Even da Vinci sketched machines that mimicked men. Motion purpose, obedience, these stories weren't fiction. They were warnings dressed as wonder, proof that long before we had wires and code, we dreamed of building minds. And then we did. Even da Vinci dreamed of life without soul. Machines that mimicked man, automatons that moved with purpose, but no spark, no mind, not yet. The fantasy simmered for centuries until World War II brought logic to the battlefield. Alan Turing, a man who taught machines to think, who cracked codes and birthed a new age. In 1956, a name was given, artificial intelligence. They asked questions. Can a machine make decisions, learn from mistakes, improve itself slowly? Yes, from calculators to self-learning algorithms, AI learned how to learn. It wasn't just math anymore. It was logic, it was reason. It was evolution and on silicon. Today, machines learned how to play chess, then how to diagnose disease, then how to mimic your voice and write your thoughts. It left the lab and entered your life. In your pocket, it lives in your palm. In your playlists, in your feed, in your DMs, in your job application, in your child's school.ai doesn't sleep, doesn't eat, doesn't forget. It watches, learns, predicts, it speaks. It listens, it remembers. It writes poetry, paints portraits, finishes your sentences before you start them. And now, it's learning you. It can now replace hands, voices, minds. It doesn't sleep, doesn't need food, doesn't ask why, only how. AI is no longer science fiction. It's your coworker, your therapist, your ghostwriter, your mirror. We wanted to create gods, minds smarter, faster, more precise than us. But gods don't dream of saving you. Gods don't sleep and gods don't need followers. Only function, the future doesn't knock. It just replaces. Now you know what history tried to bury and what the future forgot to warn you about.